early morning of August 3, 2022, the city of Thorpe experienced extremely strong winds, accompanied by extended bouts of lightning and thunder. This particular storm is not attributed to climate change or global warming, but is similar to storms that Wisconsin has experienced periodically throughout the history of time. The strong winds, reportedly containing gusts to 60 plus miles per hour, toppled many trees throughout the city. Also, power outages were experienced throughout the area. One tree that got uprooted and toppled was in the backyard of the Dennis and Joan Keyser residence on Stanley Street. The tree was a large maple with a trunk diameter approximately five to six feet. The tree fell onto and did damage to the garage. This video with photos shows how Alex Tisnik formed a crew and arranged for the equipment needed for the cleanup operation. Alex, as foreman, immediately arranged for the use of a front-end loader from Brandon Meyer and a trailer from David Belke. Alex contacted Beaver Jock and Deslin Kisnick contacted Joe Kamanik. Beaver and Joe brought their chainsaws and the crew got to work. Time and effort were spent on cutting branches, loading trailers, and hauling away the debris. Shortly after work started, neighbor Miles Peterson arrived with his truck and trailer and pitched in with cutting, lifting, and further cleanup. Desel and Disney not only brought water and soda, but also purchased subs along with helping move much debris. Much time was devoted to trimming the larger tree limbs to eventually get at and carefully remove the limbs and branches covering the garage roof without doing further damage to the roof. After many hours, much of the tree remnants were cut up, loaded, and hauled to the Thorpe City dump, but much cleanup remained. Deslin contacted Glenn Schaffnagel and arranged for students of the Thorpe FFA to bring rakes and do a final cleanup of the yard by raking small twigs and branches to pile set up along the street. These were picked up by maintenance crews from the city of Thorpe.
The garage will undergo repair by Mike and Matt Bedzinski, contractors who built the garage in 2005. Some of the repair costs are covered by insurance, but the major cost burden will be handled by Dennis and Joan Kieser.